can't be Lori Harvey, sis. These videos aren't gonna help you be Lori Harvey. It just doesn't sit well with me at all. We'll literally never be free if we keep buying into this crap. They literally have videos, I kid you not, that say things like how to be more feminine or brown skin slash dark skin woman. Are you, are you kidding me? Let me give you the keys. What you need to do is wear heels 24 seven. That way they'll see you as more of a human. What is up YouTube? It's your girl Miss Chess, and today I'm here with a video that I think is gonna be controversial. People are gonna come for me in the comments, but you guys, Black Femininity YouTube is killing, it's killing my people. It's killing us. We'll never be free if we keep consuming this nonsense. I know that's a controversial statement because some women are gonna say that these videos have helped them a lot, blah, 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 it's changed my mindset, changed my outlook. That's cool, but these videos are still deeply problematic and rooted in these very toxic, anti-black, classist, fatphobic, ugh. They're just rooted in all these awful ideals, ideologies, excuse me. And um, we have to, we have to stop. It has to end, <laughs> it has to end. So before I launch into this video, talking a little bit about my thoughts on black femininity YouTube, I just wanna first introduce myself a little bit better. My name's Miss Chiss here on YouTube and I do all sorts of things, but really my goal with this channel is to document my 20 somethings, my life as a student, some of my fashion tips, some of the things like I'm just figuring out my opinions. Anyway, this channel is relatively new, so if there's something you want me to make a video about, just drop a comment below. Feel free to reach out to me on my socials and I can definitely make it happen. Also, make sure you like this video. If this topic interested you, make sure you leave me a comment. Disagree with me, I'm okay with that, but just give reasons as to why you disagree with me. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel because we're small, but we're growing and I really have big aspirations for YouTube, so help me out on my journey. Okay, so now let's get into why I think all this black femininity content is so problematic and why I'm choosing to talk about it now. Well, first and foremost, there's the fact that, like I said, this channel is about the 20-somethings. I still consider myself as like a young woman figuring out how I kind of want to do life. I'm impressionable. <laughs> Okay, at this point, I'm not the most impressionable, but there are young people, young girls on the internet that are looking to this content as for like cues on how they should conduct themselves, on cues on how to live their life. And they're gonna be really, really messed up. I really think that they have the capacity to get really messed up by some of the ideas expressed in this black femininity content. It's already hard enough to come, as age, come of age as a black woman in any Western society, in any society, to be honest. But when you're consuming this femininity divine luxe queen black newbie when you have that nonsense in the mix it becomes even harder and your self-perception is warped it's warped anyway so that's the first reason this content needs to be addressed because it's, it's leaving an impression it's making a mark on people Second reason I'm addressing this content now is because babe like Lori Harvey just popped up with a new man. And I feel like every single time Lori Harvey gets a new man, it makes news. And these videos sort of pop off because Lori Harvey is their idea of like the most divine, feminine, venerated queen woman. Oh my God. She's their goddess. And so I know all these videos are going to pop off because they literally have titles how to glow up like Lori Harvey, case study, Lori Harvey, her feminine appeal, blah, blah, blah. Like I know they're about to blow because she bagged Michael B. Jordan. I'm jealous, she has to be stopped. But I know that people are gonna be kind of like jealous of her, but also trying to get like her. You can't be Lori Harvey, sis. These videos aren't gonna help you be Lori Harvey, but I'll get to that, I'll get to that. So I've got a list here as usual. So if you catch me looking down, if you catch me doing any of that, sorry, um, I'm trying to stay on topic. So first, let me talk a little bit about Black Femininity YouTube and the sort of content that I'm referring to. It's kind of hard to explain because it literally does not make sense. So Black Femininity YouTube refers to this collection of YouTubers that all put out this very similar sort of pink 
I mean, this very similar sort of content that basically harps on the insecurities of black women in particular to peddle them this idea that if you follow these key steps, if you become more feminine, you can have the life of your dreams, blah, blah, blah. Some of the YouTubers that specialize in this are a, a channel that's called the Divine Feminine Queen, the Lux Feminine, and I think another one is Feminine Fancy. There's also a Dr. Michelle that does content sort of based in this field. Um, I'm not too sure about her stuff. I haven't watched her videos. Anyway, these pages basically all follow the same formula where they're showing like slide after slide of influencer slash celebrity women wearing typically like pinks and beiges and nice skirts and polka dots. It's like Christian girl autumn adjacent, but like glam black woman. I don't even know what the aesthetic is called. Like some people would probably say it's like black woman in luxury, but I know plenty of luxury black women who don't wear the puffy sleeves and the, have the weave and everything. Like there are black women in luxury that are out here wearing streetwear, that are out here wearing sweats, but they're cool, they're dripped out, they still look good. All these women have the same aesthetic and these pages basically like are talking to the viewer and will just be showing pictures and pictures of this woman. It's a very weird phenomenon because I actually did watch a good number of these videos myself and you just kind of sit there being like, wow, they're so pretty. I love the way they look. If I talk with a certain tone in my voice, I can be like them, I can be successful, I can get a man. Their voices are just super monotone. In a way, it's like you almost both find yourself falling into a trance. It's scary, it's scary, and it's not good for my people. <laughs> The way I see it, these pages are peddling anti-black, fat phobic, classist propaganda with self-care tips sort of weaved into the general like tapestry of the video. So you look at it and you're like, I think I feel better about myself. I think I, I think that it's gonna help me level up. But the reality is those videos also communicate this whole host of very problematic and toxic ideals. I know I keep saying that, but you guys, some of the stuff that I'm getting from these pages, it's just not good energy. So one of the first issues I have is this narrow definition of femininity that's on the pages. So like, if I wear streetwear, am I not feminine? If I have long nails, am I not feminine? The tips will literally be like, okay, make sure you always have your nails done, but try and go towards more neutral colors, like pinks and maybe baby blues. Never make your nails too long, because I know this is problematic, but it's ghetto. Honestly, it just doesn't give elegance and class. I'm not even joking, that's how they sound. And you can tell that the way they're speaking is very calculated, like it's not natural, but they're trying to sound a certain way so they sell you this idea of who they are behind the screen. And that brings me to my next point. I don't like how all of these pages are faceless. And that allows for two things. One, they can all copy one another and basically say like the same thing, have the same aesthetic and still be very successful. The second thing that's problematic about it, it could be a white man behind that screen. It could be anyone, bruh. I personally don't like that because they're trying to sell you an image, but they won't even show you what they actually themselves look like. Along with that, the tips they're giving, okay, let's say it is a black woman behind the screen, but it be very different to be getting these tips from a black woman that like say looks like L Lori Harvey versus a black woman that looks like Serena Williams. The reality is society is kinder to the one that's lighter, the one that has more Eurocentric features, the one with a certain sort of hair. And so when you remove the face from these videos, you could be hearing this sort of advice from Lori Harvey herself. And I'm like, okay, but Lori, that's not gonna work for me. I don't have money like you do. I don't look like you do. I just generally feel like the facelessness gives them a a lack of accountability that allows them to say nonsense, to be honest. The next thing that bothers me is the fact that these videos are specifically targeted towards black women. They literally have videos, I kid you not, that say things like how to be more feminine for brown skin slash dark skin women. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you, are you for real right now? Through this genre, you're literally playing into the belief that black women are less feminine slash less of a woman inherently because of their blackness. You know how long we've been trying to get rid of that notion? Instead of you to be asking, gee, so how come you don't think I'm feminine slash a woman if I'm not wearing high heels? Like how come you think I'm an animal if I'm not wearing heels? They're there telling black women, you know what you guys, what you need to do, let me give you the keys, what you need to do is wear heels 24 seven. That way, they'll see you as more of a human. 
you're giving out advice like that to the girls, imagine yourself at 14 years old seeing this content. It's like, well, damn, I guess I need to pull up to middle school in heels so the white boys will talk to me. Instead of these pages to be like, listen, you are a beautiful feminine woman because you are you. These pages are instead saying do X, Y, and Z, change yourself, posture yourself in this way, have this sort of poise, and then you can meet this societal standard of what femininity looks like. I just, it just doesn't sit well with me at all. The colors component to it also is just so, like, just so problematic problematic but it is you guys haven't we been through this already haven't we been talking about colorism literally before 2020 happened even like like we've been talking about this for decades aren't you tired aren't you tired of being the problem divine femininity queen miss feminine why do y'all have videos targeted specifically at black slash dark-skinned women why why that's anti-black love yourself a little bit more love your people a little bit more because i do i want us to be free Next thing I'll talk about, which is kind of in line with the whole colorist nonsense, this is rank fake bouginess about these channels that gets under my skin because given some of the spaces I've moved in, when you see wealth, you know wealth. You can sense when someone is wealthy. There are certain cues and things you can pick up on. I'm not of a super high socioeconomic status myself, but the fact that you're like, mm, yeah, I wouldn't shop at like Forever 21 or She Inside. They're not really classy. They don't really have things that last long. I think you guys really need to upgrade yourselves. And then you turn around and recommend Zara and Pretty Little Thing. Cut the fake bougie nonsense. It's literally classist and annoying. If let people shop where they want to shop, let people look good. Like fast fashion is problematic. Yes, we know that. But why are you putting sh pretty little thing on a higher level than she inside. Like, get off your high horse. You're not flexing in the way you think you're flexing. Black femininity YouTube, it's not giving what you think it's giving. It's giving fake bougie, and that's even more annoying than actual rich people. Someone trying to act like they're rich and using terms like classy and blah, blah, blah. That's worse than actual rich people because they'll just shut their mouth because they know people will want to hate them or kidnap them. They'll just not talk. <laughs> and I appreciate that, that's smart. The fake bouginess also is not even just like on a financial thing. It also translates to the sort of language that is used on the channel, slash the certain tips they give you. It gives very um, Eliza Doolittle, finishing school, charm school sort of vibes, you know? Like they'll be like, okay, you wanna make sure your tone is a certain way. You definitely don't wanna curse. You wanna like posture yourself a certain way when you walk into the room so people have X, Y, Z notion of you. And I'm just like, can black women live? Literally can black women live? I'll come back to this point because that's like my general gripe with the whole black femininity movement along with the other like classes, fat phobic, all the other stuff that I mentioned also very true. But I just feel like all these tips, like all the things they're saying, like black women are never just allowed to be. And now we have other black women allegedly now we have other black women saying like, okay, society sees us this way. And so in order to combat it, change yourself. No, change society. My final gripe with black femininity YouTube is the fact that it seems like all this glow up, how to make yourself effortlessly attractive, how to always look good. I feel like it all boils down to how to get a man. How to get a man. Can can women glow up not in the efforts to get a husband, get a boyfriend, partner? Can we do that? Like, can one try and better themselves and not be trying to get in a relationship? Is that possible? Comment down below with what you think. Cause personally, I don't think so. No, like, let me know you guys. And so anyway, I say that it feels like all these videos are about getting a man slash the whole movement is about getting a man. Because I'm sorry, if you have a video like 10 tips to have to make yourself more attractive. Attractiveness isn't about how you personally feel about yourself. It's premised on the idea of how other people view you. I, I think a lot of it is just thinking about like what men like and what if you don't want to live your life according to what men like. Now this video is getting long and I'll wrap it up with like my general point and my general gripe of with this whole movement. Yeah, I said it earlier, I'll say it again. Why can't black women live? 
why can't black women just be themselves without constantly having to worry about how they're being perceived by other people in society at large? Why? Actually, I said that I said that was my final gripe, but I actually my last one wraps it up a little bit better. You have all these tips and everything, right? You have all the advice they give you. While some of it is very problematic, they actually have good pieces of advice mixed in there. And I mentioned this early on. When you get the good pieces of advice, like general self-care tips, like, oh, have a facial routine. Maybe try this thing at home instead of going out. Be receptive when people are talking to you. Like, rather than that being how to be feminine 101 that's literally how to be a better person 101 like i don't understand why all these qualities that all people should have slash all these routines and habit habits that make people in general better i don't know why they're being wrapped up into this black femininity discourse like it doesn't make sense to me it's self-care why is it one of your tips on how to be more feminine or whatever I hate that because it makes you think that you're getting good advice because some of it actually is good advice. Some of it actually is good, but the negative stuff that's mixed in there is, is killing my people. It's not good for us. We'll literally never be free if we keep buying into this crap. This video was low-key exhausting to make. I feel like I just went on a solid rant and I've been ranting about this to my friends for like multiple days now. Comment down below with how you would explain Black Femininity YouTube to someone who's like never seen it before because I really struggled in this video. Like it's got the the desirability politics side mixed with self-care mixed with this weird like cosmic sort of deal like all the astro girls tell me like what feminine energy is in the astrological sense because i think the um black femininity youtubers have kind of taken that they mixed it all together in a way that's very confusing for people like me who don't know much about either Anyways, you guys, that's it for me. I know this video was kind of hard to follow. It was kind of all over the place, but it was really a rant. I had to get it off my chest because these videos, I just feel like they're not for the advancement of colored people. It's just not. Comment down below with your thoughts on these videos. If you watch them, let me know. If you like them, please let me know. Please let me know what sort of value these videos serve to you. Yeah, if you disagree with any of my points, let me know as well. I'd love to hear your opinions. Change my mind. My mind is always open to being changed, but will it? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like as well as leaving a comment, as I said, and also subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. And let me know what videos you guys would like to see in the future. What final note can I end this on? I just want us to be free. <laughs> I just want to be free. I just want to do me. Gosh, yeah, I just I just want black women to feel like they can live and live freely. Because to be honest, black women will be watching all these videos, be trying to level up. Your best friend Becky from middle school is literally doing God knows what with God knows who, wearing her hair in a bun, sweats, Dunkin' Donuts cup, lanyard with her keys around her neck, last night's makeup on the side of her cheek. And she still has a man that loves her. Society still like, hello, Becky, nice to see you. Society still loves her. Why is that? Let's think about that. That's what we need to impact instead of trying to become more feminine. That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.